everybody welcome back to going ballistic super excited about today's video Justin and i are back out on the shooting range and here is what we have for you guys today so we picked up another beehive or hornet's nest but this baby shoots four 410 shotgun shells so we have some buckshot today and we're also going to do a bird shot thing for you guys on some targets just to show you the different pattern of each. But yeah, we're super excited about this one. So if you guys see in this video here where we shot the 1822 rounds, this basically works the same thing. So you have the cap that you put on the back and it has a large pistol primer that you put in it. And it also has the plunger like the other one you could see in this picture here. And this one has obviously four um, firing pins to hit each primer on each round. So. This is what we got for you guys today. First, I gotta rant a little bit. If you guys are in the market for a 40 millimeter grenade launcher, do not buy a DSA product. I tell you, this thing has been nothing but an absolute nightmare. So when we first got this launcher out of the box, the firing pin was broken in half, or the firing pin was sheared off at the end. So two weeks, whatever, they finally sent us a new one. Justin, he has Moab Manufacturing, um, a machine shop and all this stuff, so he's able to do all this. So he changed the firing pin out. Then we did that video there with the 18, 22 rounds and a couple practice rounds. And then it was getting really hard to um, load the rounds in and just slide the barrel forward. So after the video, he took it apart and the locking mechanism was made out of pot metal and just snapped in half. Um, there was also a, um, the extractor for the round, that's pot metal, that was broken in half. And then the handle had one pin in it, and it wasn't even the right roll pin. It was just a pin that was shoved in there and then freaking glue to hold the handrail on, or the handguard on here. So the only thing I'll give them in their defense is they said, hey, send it back, we'll give you your money back. But they had no extra parts to give us nothing, so Justin manufactured them in his machine shop and got this baby going again. So DSA, change your name to DOA for dead on arrival. So if you guys are going to buy one, don't buy DSA. Anyways, enough of my crying. Let's show you what we got today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do for you guys today is we're going to shoot birdshot, four birdshot rounds out of the beehive and we're going to see how it does against our zombie now these are triumph system targets these are pretty cool targets they have all these little blood packs it's like over a hundred in these so justin's going to be about i don't know 10 15 yards back and we're going to see what the uh the pattern looks like on this on these targets we're going to we got two targets so we're going to do one with the buckshot one with the bird shot and then we are going to see how the buckshot does against the tower of Dr. Thunder. So this is what we got for you guys today. So we're gonna get loaded up and get this going for you guys. Here we go. So nice to get this grenade launcher up and going again. <clears throat> Can't wait to see what this, these are three inch 410 birdshot shells. Let's see what we can do at this distance. You ready? Go for it. Uh, Almost pulled the trigger trigger on the rifle. I don't know how to aim this thing. Here we go. <laughs> Sun came back and hit me. All right, let's check this out. The zombie killer. Well, he did get him in the brain a couple places. Got about four or five of the blood packs here and hit the heart and lungs for good. Peppered everywhere, man. You can see this. It just goes everywhere, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to change out targets, and we're going to do the buckshot for you guys. So hang tight. Here we go. All right, now time for some buckshot. we got some triple out buck and number four buck. And you can see the number four buck shells are literally sticking out 
past the tip there. I don't know if you can see it, but this should be pretty fun. Yeah, handguard fell off. Super reliable piece of equipment. You ready? Go for it. All right, let's try this. Yeah, that's some damage. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. <coughs> Clear. All right, so that was a hodgepodge of different rounds. Blew some holes right here through his lungs with the uh, buckshot. Hit the heart here with a lot of bird shot, a lot of bird shot over here. Looks like one or two little bird shot in the brain. But yeah, got some good holes everywhere. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the soda can and see how that looks on the high-speed camera. Hopefully pretty good, so here we go. All right, for this one where we're gonna make a nice sticky mess of this Dr. Thunder, we've got two bird shot, two buck shot. It's triple out buck, I believe. All right, time for a sticky mess. Here we go. Oh, yes! That was beautiful. It's so sticky. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was freaking beautiful, man. I think, I think it got every single can. See that one, that one, that one. Holes through that one. That was cool, man. So that was every single can that shot totally obliterated. That was cool. That was like a murder of crows going towards those soda cans. Um, anyways, that's what we got for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed that video. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button there. We really appreciate all of our subscribers. Again, a big shout out to our patrons. We love you guys. Thank you guys so much for the extra support of this channel. But we, we are so thankful for all you guys just watching it and commenting. Make sure you hit a comment down there. Tell us what you think. And um, that's it, guys. We'll be back. All right, so I have a, brought a slightly more effective zombie killer. So we got a Vietnam era M16. And yeah, of course it's full auto. Yes! Man, that's fun. I don't know if I hit anything, but... <laughs>